Okay, so today we're going to make the world's simplest hydrogen generator. I've done a lot of work on hydrogen generators. Some can be very complicated. This one is extremely simple. It doesn't come any simpler or any cheaper than this. Uh, everything's from the hardware store, including the pen and the tape measure, uh, which of course most of us have in our toolboxes anyway. Uh, just got some 316 stainless bolts. These are 6mm by 85mm long, 40mm stormwater. A couple of little fittings here, a bit of clear PVC tube so we can watch the bubbles go through the water. And um, I just got a bit of angle on it. So the first thing we want to do is mark out our bolt holes. So just a couple of marks across the centre of your pipe. And if you use a bit of angle line, that gives you a nice straight line to run your pen up, like so. Same on the other side, like so. And what we want to do is because our cap here that is 25mm deep, we mark our first hole at 30mm and then we're going to go 15mm intervals from that so um, that's what we've got to do so and once we've got our holes marked out we're going to drill straight through now because these are 6mm bolts we're going to drill a 4.5mm hole each bolt there you can see I've tapered the end off just with the grinder and that way it'll cut its own thread in the PVC when we screw the bolts through and do a pretty good job of sealing as well. So I'll go ahead and do that bit, um, get all the bolts in and then we'll come back, have a look, see how the rest goes together. Okay, so um, we've got our bolts in. I ended up going 20 mil spaces instead of 15. And before I screwed the head all the way home to the pipe, a little dob of clear silicon in there, same within the nuts just to help it seal up a bit. So what we're going to do now is we're going to glue our cap on this end, it's just a blanking cap. We'll put our joiner on this end and then our bit of clear tube will get glued in there like so. Um, and we can fill up the water and we can have a look at the bubbles going through it and see how good it is. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that and then we're going to make up our jumper leads. So I've put in four bolts this way, every second one, and every second one the opposite way. So one side will be your positive, the other side will be the negative, it doesn't matter which side you have. If you want to go high voltage, positive on one side at one end, negative on the other side at the other end, all these will then become neutral plates, if you call them that. So um, that's what we're going to do now, but we're going to put them all up in parallel. 4 negative, 4 positive, and uh, so we're going for a low voltage system. So I'll go ahead and I'll do all that, um, then we'll get a bit of board so we can mount it on, and uh, we'll come back, have a look at it, and then we'll crank it up, see how it goes. Okay, so we're all set up, ready to go. Um, wood level is here, just at the top of your screen. I am using normal town water and it's got a lot of chlorine in it and um, the only electrolyte I had here that we're using at the moment which I do not recommend is salt so the water is going to go brown very quickly but let's see how good our cell works anyway Okay, so no problem with production there. Um, very, very little salt in the water, so it's not very conductive. I'm running it off a uh, 24 volt lithium at the moment. So this would be well suited as it is now with that rod spacing for um, solar panels 
without a regulator, 36 volt house panels. So, uh, a very simple build and works very well for the amount of money it costs us. So, uh, as you can see, the water is Coca Cola colour now. And I'm a bit uh, sceptical as to who uh, those bolts we used. It says 316 stainless. Um, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. But um, the chlorine and the salt doesn't help. And we won't do it for much longer because we're in a closed room, or an open room, but the door's open. That's about it. And the fumes coming off of that from the salt is not so good and you can have a look at the gluggy mess in that water that's terrible and we drink that stuff look at that second bit of, bigger city in um, western australia that's our chlorinated water <laughs> with a bit of salt in it but anyway it works a treat very simple build very cheap build can be scaled up to whatever size you like, of course. Um, whether you go a four inch or a six inch PVC tube, and you could actually make, you might actually do that next, a um, separator so we get hydrogen out of one side, oxygen out of the other side. Um, then you could bottle it and use it for whatever you want. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you again.